I am the founding executive director of the Marburger STEM Center because I have both the passion and the experience focused on STEM education at the undergraduate level and also diversity in the STEM fields. So I have a very diverse background where I served in various roles as a chemistry professor, a museum executive, a writer and an editor, and all of those experiences helped prepare me for this role. The Marburger STEM Center is actually a leader in STEM education because of the remarkable work that our faculty are actually doing with our students right here in this space, but also because of our work focused on parent engagement as part of the Blue Devil Scholars Program. And one of the key things we want to do is to provide parents with the tools and tips that they need so that they can be better advocates for the education of their children. So if a child comes home and says, I want to be an engineer or an architect or a chemist, the parents understand what that means and really helping to prepare them for a successful career pathway. So the STEM Center actually focuses on two audiences. So basically supporting uh, current LTU faculty and staff and also outreach to the K-12 community. So an example supporting uh, LTU student staff and faculty is our signature events, the Science and Technology Showcase, which is a collaboration with uh, Career Services and also Medical Main Street that puts science and biomedical engineering students and uh, allow them to interact with uh, potential employers. In addition to that, our faculty had the opportunities to interact with those employers, educating them on how our students are being trained for successful careers in STEM pathways. In addition to that, the STEM Center offers some much needed uh, classroom space, much needed space, such as laboratory space and engineering design studio space. One particular uh, outreach event that we were able to participate in was something called the Future City Competition, where middle school kids actually have to create a model of a future city using uh, recyclable materials. So I had the opportunity to serve as a mentor to a, uh, to, to a Detroit team at a uh, recreation center. So the lead mentor was Katrina LaFleur. And this was the first time that these young people competed in this competition and they actually won an award. So the 2017 Technological Innovation Award. So it's all about exposure, right? So central to the work that we do here at the STEM Center is exposing uh, young people to these STEM disciplines, getting them to see how STEM shapes their everyday experiences and teaching these subjects in really exciting and interesting ways. Another program that we were involved in is something called Launch, Learn, and Code, Girls Empowered. So that was a Microsoft tech engagement event. So 75 middle school girls from Detroit had the opportunity to go to uh, Microsoft. They participated in one hour coding classes, TED Talks. I had the opportunity to sit on a career panel with other women in STEM, and these young ladies received free movie passes to see hidden figures. So again, it's about exposure. Another uh, event was a collaboration with the College of Engineering and the National Association for Women in Construction called the Lego uh, Block, uh, Block Program. And basically it was for uh, kindergarten through fifth grade students. So we had about 90 kids on campus and it was a competition and I'm proud to say that the girls kicked butt taking home first second and third prize so in addition to that we also have a program at Samson Weber Leadership Academy where the students are actually uh, constructing an outdoor classroom so they're getting some hands-on experience with construction architecture and design Lawrence Tech is Michigan's best kept secret. It's a nationally recognized STEM focused institution. And what I hope going forward is to continue to encourage as many students as possible to come to Lawrence Tech, earn a degree, become alumni, and give back to continue to support the work of the STEM Center.